Hi friends, welcome to my channel Civil 3D Pro Designers. There is much demand related to grading tutorial using Civil 3D from my subscriber. So without wasting time, I will uh, dive into the tutorial. I have this surface. First of all, I will of this line for now okay i have this these contours and i will put them into civil 3d surface it is my existing ground i am doing that fast because it's already uh, i have another video for this so now we have surface it's all 3d surface i will rebuild that okay and here i will on my freeze layer So here we have this site. It's actually for any uh, intake portal. You can do it same for any building pad. I have this site which I will grade with benches using feature lines actually. So it's the line. I will convert this polyline into feature line assign elevation i want to give the elevation here for 49 okay so now it's our feature line when you will select your feature line it will show contextual tab with related commands so here on edit geometry we have a very useful command like which is the depth offset is same like AutoCAD offset command but with some extra functions so click here now I want to grade this area with benches because it's down very down 449 elevation and I want to grade this with benches first bench I want to put the height of uh, bench First is it is asking for offset distance. Offset will be four for distance. Okay, and then it is asking for side. It will outside, and now it's asking for elevation. And in elevation, I will put ten. I'm putting ten in plus. Okay, now we have this line I want to make some radius here so you have here fillet command in polyline contextual tab uh, sorry feature line tab select radius and you can put any radius here okay it's fine and another press escape now I will do it in two tabs to vertical okay bring to front okay now it was the slope now I will put bench here select this one offset and it is asking for depth 
sorry offset it will 3 meter and now it is asking for site yes this site elevation will be 0 because I have no slope in this bench press escape and then select another line go to offset and now it is asking for distance it will 4 meter because I am using 1 into 2.5 horizontal and verticals it will this size and also same height 10 ok now select this line and it was second slope and now we have another bench here it will 5 meter select this side and elevation will be 0 press escape so you can see we are increasing offset here so you can analyze your surface to get your offset and how much you need slope there so I will add one more offset select the size and distance for meter and now side and elevation will be 10 same press escape now we have all feature lines and go to surface create surface it will FG our finish ground ok and go to your FG definitions and here you have break lines click add break lines put mid ordinate minimum and select your feature lines all feature lines which you are going to add into your finish surface now you can see we have surface it's graded and we have done with slopes and benches you can select and look at them into your you can see here we have platform now slope then bench then slope and then we have benches ok go back how we will crop this surface because we want to choose the portion which is just connecting our existing surface so select your surface and here in analyze sur tab ground data here we have minimum distance between surface select like this and now it is asking for select surface or press enter for surface we will select FG and then press enter to select your another EG existing ground it is asking for zoom to print no we need not need and it is asking draw intersection point at autocad polyline yes so press escape you can see here we have polyline ok now we have boundary which we can add to our surface to get finish surface go to your FG definitions and now you have boundary click add mid ordinate will be 0 0 1 press ok and select this boundary go home it's our finished surface that's why we will select here design our feature lines are looking very bad with this grading that's why we will go and off them the select feature make new surface 
feature select your feature line and select similar to put all of them in a feature and of this feature line layer okay now you can see we have benches it was our pad and now we have some three benches you can look in object viewer also so you can see how we can grade using feature lines for bends, slopes. You can also label your surface with contours. It's showing too much. So you can play with your properties. of your minor contours you can see so using this step you can make your grading for benches for any uh, inlet portal outlet portals and for building areas also you can do same like that if you like this video and information please subscribe and if you have any question related to this video please write in the comment box thank you